Good morning. My name is Dale Mathias, and I am the chairman of the Partners Forum, which is a group of private individuals who provide pro bono services to USAID to support them in helping facilitate private investment capital going into Africa. USAID set up an entity called the Private Capital Group for Africa, and it is this entity that we support within the agency. I think as we've all learned and knew before we really came in here, Africa is really on the verge of becoming an economic powerhouse. It's, a, it's quite a wonderful thing to be able to say, and I think we have to recognize that it is true. Typically, when economic shifts of this sort occur in other developing economies, what happens is that the local investors lead the way to open markets for international investors. And one of the main questions on the table today is, how will this occur in Africa? Happily, the first phase of this is occurring now, specifically with regard to two aspects of investing, two critical aspects of investing, FDI and infrastructure. Ernst & Young came out with a report in May of this year which cited the fact that intra-Africa FDI is really leading the way on the continent. So that basically means that investors from Africa are investing in Africa and leading the way for that to happen. Similarly, in the infrastructure space, we, space, we see the same thing. Um, in 2010, there was, two, there was nine, nearly $90 billion of investment in Africa in infrastructure, and approximately $30 billion of that came from African investors. So it's against this backdrop that we're asking our distinguished and unusually knowledgeable panelists to answer these, these questions. What are the special opportunities facing African pension funds today? What are their strategies for investment across Africa and in their own countries? What are the issues that pension funds face investing in their regions? And what are the opportunities for them to invest collaboratively? Should pension funds collaborate? And how could they work together or individually to catalyze investment from outside the continent, from institutional and, in and high net worth individuals who we hear are very interested in investing on the continent? Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.